We are on our return trip from the Azores. Uh, this is our seventh consecutive day of unrelenting headwinds. With one saving grace when we're going to windward, close hauled, is that uh, self-steering is really very easy. All we need to do is put a uh, around the tiller and, uh, and that just keeps us on course. Very easy to set up, very reliable. Not much to go wrong really. Uh, on the other boat, oh, I just used the bungee. This one, I find I've got quite a lot of movement there. So I did a little experimenting and by putting a lashing on it, uh, that gets rid of most of the movement that we had and we actually steer a straighter course. When you've got additional movement of the rudder, uh, you're, you're changing direction and that energy to change direction comes at the expense of boat speed. So um, try it with a bungee, try it with a lashed helm. How this works, to my way of thinking, if our boat is uh, is upright, the two sides are symmetrical. And so the tendency of the port side, which is curved, uh, to go around the starboard, and the starboard side to go around the port, cancel out. So we have mutual help. But when we're sailing, particularly when we're sailing to windward, we're not upright. We've got an angle of heel on there, and so the underwater shape becomes asymmetric. We've got, we're on starboard tank now, so we've got more of the port half of the hull is immersed in the starboard, so that gives us a tendency to go up to starboard, right? To go up into the weather, we call that weather helm. And we correct that by applying some rudder so we're pulling the tiller up to, to weather and, uh, and that counteracts the tendency of the boat to, uh, to go into the wind. Now, once we get this balanced nicely, we're going along. If we were to go um, off the wind a bit, we'd be oversheeted. So we'd heel even more and then we'd have more asymmetry. That would want to bring us back up into the wind because we've only we've already locked in the um, the amount of helm we needed for when it was balanced. Conversely, if we were to head into the wind for one reason or another, we then become more upright, and the helm that we've put in will tend to bring us back on course. Uh, for some boats, you'll find that the using the bungee actually helps in that respect, because. When we slow down, the bungee will pull it over, so it will bring it back on course quicker. So it's a, it's a bit of a trade-off. You can also change the um, the angle of heel uh, by altering the cruise position. This is particularly important in light winds uh, and with the, the smaller size of boat. To guard against that, it's best getting the final balance be sitting on the same side that you're going to be on uh, later on. Otherwise you might find, um, particularly in light winds, you just settle down and then you wake up and find that you, you've hove to. If we finally get a nice wind change and we are close hauled rather than, uh, sorry, close reaching rather than close hauled, we don't necessarily have to go to, uh, to sheep to tiller. We can use this, I just ease off the main sheet, let the, uh, the bounce come round and then ease off the head sail and then just adjust the bungee or the lashing. Uh, what sort of wind angle you can use just with the lashing um, will vary from one boat to another. With Scallywag I used this system as long as the wind was ahead of the beam. With this one, it's, um, it prefers the uh, sheet to tiller, uh, but as long as the wind is, say, two points ahead of the beam, then, uh, then this seems to work just fine. It's a bit of an overlap when you can use either system.